Hello, this is George Senda, the real, authentic, original, official, one and only, the guy from Pittsburgh, except no imposters on YouTube and don't send any money to their phony P.O. box in Missouri. All right, this is a video. I want to tell you what I did with the $20 the nice lady gave me at Target. Well, she gave me some coupons. I don't remember where I put them. Let's see, I don't think they're in my shorts. The friskies, I put them down somewhere, but as you know, I can't see very well when I put things down, even with the light. But with the light, I can see, but I put them over there, I think. But I'll, I'll find them with a flashlight. <coughs> Excuse me. My voice is going this morning. Well, I took the $20 bill. I bought Kathy's cats a package of... Uh, Temptations, Cleo loves the kitty treats. Caesar does not love kitty treats. I gotta try to find him a kitty treat he likes. I bought nine cans of Fancy Feast for my cats. I'd already bought Kathy's cats Fancy Feast. And I bought something for me to eat. And, uh, Kathy bought, um, a package of Temptations treats for Cleo as well out of her money and uh, I bought a bottle of Snapple for myself so because I you know I spend money on the cats all the time and the guy with the cat tree is not giving me a full refund I said I'll take $25 first he offered me $9.99 which was insulting for a 45 dollar defective item and then he offered me fifteen dollars which is still insulting i worked in that thing for four hours to try to get a thing that was misaligned missing holes had holes where they shouldn't been had screw holes stripped out and all that so ebay has said they'll refund my money on the 11th so that's what i did with the money um i'm very low on money and by the way the people who say and i'm not picking on him but particular this is terrible what this woman should has done, I'm kind of surprised that no one has uh, taken this woman to task, if it is a woman, for sending me an empty gift card. Instead, I'm getting all the grief heaped on me, and Kathy was very, very upset that she had to drive at 9.30 at night in, pit, in the dark, pick me up, go down the freeway, go 10 miles to Walnut Creek, and then find out there was no money on the gift card. With $100, I would have bought her cats a lot of cat food and my cats a lot of cat food and bought me some food and bought them kitty treats and a toy or two. So this is an incredibly cruel and mean thing to do. And for someone to say that they bought this and they have the receipt, well, it's been since Friday and, uh, or whenever it was we went to the store. I don't even know for sure what day it is today because I lose track of time with all this other stuff that cleaning and the roach spraying and picking the poor cats in and out of the cat carriers and all freaked out. But, um, oh, it, I think it's Friday without looking at the calendar or getting up. But, uh, you know, this is not what you do. You, you're going to send someone a gift card out of the goodness of your heart. You don't send them a closed gift card that's been used. That's just being a troll and a hoaxer and cruel and I broke down crying and Kathy and I had been she she had been complaining at me because she was grouchy about the whole situation with her apartment and then Patty's been causing problems for her too she'll tell you about that next time you see her so she's stressed out I'm stressed out I'm having trouble with sleeping uh, I'm having some trouble breathing because two of my medications are expired and um, you know I'm worn out she's worn out and to do this to somebody and she had to waste gas too and it was um, let's see 13 23 and another 23 about f about a 60 or 70 mile trip because she had to go around the freeway at the end of the evening they were working on two freeways and she had used surface streets and she didn't get back home for an hour so and she was very happy that I got this card for me and for the kitties and uh, 
If someone wants to send us a Target or a PetSmart gift card or a Walmart gift card, that would be really appreciated. A real one this time, not one that's been already been used and the person says, I have the receipt. Well, it's been several days. They haven't sent me the receipt because they claim I would tell their real name. I would tell that I would show the receipt to the manager at Target. I've talked to the actual full manager at the Walnut Creek store in person before. <clears throat> and um, they know me. And I know retail. I don't give out people's names, but if this was something somebody bought, they could be easily checked out in a few minutes, and they would make it good. But since they already used it, I'm firmly convinced that it was not bought for me. This was a hoax. It's not a prank. A prank, you stick a snake in a can and scare a girl when you're in the fourth grade. That's a prank. This was a cruel and deliberate thing to do to embarrass me, embarrass my girlfriend, and deprive the kitties of something they wouldn't like. All right, this is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh. Have a great day. Stay warm, wet, dry, or cool as the case may be, and stay safe out there. Bye-bye for now. i got to go get the mail or something in the mail, and i got to open up my Chewy box. Bye-bye.